Hey guys, it's Oz here, and uh, I've got another Let's Play for you guys. Uh, as you can see, um, textures have changed. So I've started using the uh, Sawtex Fanfare texture. I've always used it, but uh, they didn't have a 1 for 1.52 yet. And uh, they've now got it, and it seems to be working pretty well. It's nicer than the, uh, the other stuff. That's my phone. Go away. Um, but for today... I want to work on our the uh, the bees. I want to make a little automated uh, beehive, uh, an apiary, I should say. And I also need to bring some power over to the section as well. And I'm thinking about going to be doing a, uh, a couple of test racks and some chunk loaders. Uh, so let's get started on that. Probably should have stayed over at the other base. I'm trying to make the uh, let's plays a little bit better by uh, not doing sort of procedural, sort of like tutorial, because that's that's uh, how I'm generally pretty good at it. So what do I have to do first? I've got a lot of the stuff I need already. Uh, I've got the NG chest racks already built, so might as well just go and hook them up first I'll hook one up in the uh, down in the power room thinking do I want off the first set or the second set I've expanded since last time um, I've got a uh, an assembly table upstairs which just draws huge amounts of power so uh, but I don't use it all that time so I'll use this one off here Okay, let's just uh, call it the home, home power, I'll give it a device of one, got three of them two, there we go, put it set like that, it should be send only, yeah, okay, um, these things need the uh, chunk to be loaded, so we've got to build a chunk loader, it's not too expensive. It's got a couple of diamonds needed. Uh, okay, so uh, just to refresh my uh, my memory. Chunk loader, ender pearl, gold, enchantment table. Got that. So let's make two of them because we need two. There's two of them. Okay, <clears throat> then this, let's run, gold, 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 and then two ender pearls, two chunk loaders, excellent, okay, so, <clears throat> we'll place this in a place where most of the power sources, so that the <coughs> chunk that has the engines and probably the farm in it so let's just place it here let's just uh, open up and let us show the lasers okay that looks like it's got most uh, I'll just increase it to the full do I need 25? let's go 25 Lasers. Okay, that should be good. This area should be loaded while we're not here. And then four. Oh, okay, I've got everything. I think just gotta go over to the <coughs> bee farm. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then I need to put this chunk loader down. No, I'll put it over here. Right there, that should do. Okay, show the lasers so you can see what's getting loaded. Pretty much everything that we need. It's good. Hide the lasers. Escape. Put this tesseract. Uh, I think we can just put all the machines. I'll get this later. 
I don't need it. <coughs> Test right key. Select that one. Okay, it should be receive only. Okay, it should be getting power. Uh, I've got some energy conduits. Okay. Now we're just going to put some machines onto it. Okay, so it's a. Me. I was going to build a centrifuge and a squeezer. So we need two of these sturdy cases. Okay. They're pretty simple to build. Um, so the copper down the side version is the centrifuge. Where tin down the side is the squeezer. And we'll need that for the um the honeycombs that our bees make. So let's chuck that one there. No recipe. No chuck that one. Actually do I want it there? Uh, next to there, I'll put a chest in between. Well, okay. 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 How am I gonna find if it's got power or not? Uh, tick, 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 tick. How do I know if this is working? Um, the squeezer. Ah, oh, there's seeds right here. Damn it! No seeds. Ah. Oh. Um, you got anything? No. You got anything? No. You got anything? No. Okay, centrifuge. Centrifuge. Work. Okay, not working. Um, no, power. There we go. And it's working. Yay, got power. Yay! And uh, centrifuge will give us honey drops and beeswax. And things like pulse and the squeezer can do other stuff. So we've got a squeeze pulse, but uh, now we're over here, might as well put our. I was gonna put another apiary down here, and uh, this apiary here was going to be our breeding apiary. So I'm just gonna leave that one there. And this one over here, I was going to put in two uh, meadows, just so uh, if I ever get a queen that's a, a hybrid I don't want anymore and I'll make it back to a, a meadows I can do that so just to get this thing to automatically work we put a uh, wooden pipe in get these uh, gates our tarkic gates I made from the assembly table like that and that's my phone ringing I'm gonna have to deny that one. My girlfriend's gonna be pissed. <laughs> the video must be come first. Okay, items in inventory, energy pulsar, and what we do here, we put these uh, insertion parts up there. The good thing about insertion parts is that uh, they're somewhat smart and they, sh and they know if the Item can't fit in there, so make another chest. Like that, like that. And we're gonna put the chest right here. Cobblestone. No. That's the insertion part. There we go. So if the bees can't fit back into the apiary. They'll be pumped into here, so that that'll be all our our extra drones, which we need. Okay, what else do we need to do? Oh yes, I want to show you this um force wrench I've just discovered. <coughs> uh, works on a lot of items, but shift quick, and you can pick up items. Uh, just deny that one as well. Ah. Okay. As you can see, it's picked up a meadow hive. And I can place it back down again. And get the scoop out. As you can see, it still works. That's awesome. I think until uh, next time, guys, that'll be it. If you like, comment, and subscribe, I'd be grateful. Got any suggestions, questions, uh, put them down. 
I, I reply to everything. Until next time, guys. Nah. <laughs>